because it's unpopular, the police state. It's unpopular, Northcom. The people know about it now. He's saying, our founding fathers, our Bill of Rights. He didn't want to mention it by name. He said, a charter. And you watch what he does. You watch what he does. Oh, we're shutting down Guantanamo. Read the fine print. Secret camps in the U.S. ABC News. God, these people are incredible. Still like the world. And we will not give them up for expedience sake. Oh, the light of the world. Yeah. And so, to all the other peoples and governments who are watching today, from the grandest capitals to the small village where my father was born, know that America is a friend of each nation and every man, woman, and child who seeks a future of peace and dignity. And we are ready to lead once more. You know, what Bush did is what the military-industrial complex and the banks wanted, and the RAND Corporation, the PNAC documents, the CFR, what the Democrats wanted. This is the same agenda. But see, now it's, I love you while we carpet bomb you. I love you while we put embargoes on you. I love you people. I care about you. based on fascism and communism, not just with missiles and tanks, but with the sturdy alliances and enduring convictions. They understood that our power alone cannot protect us, nor does it entitle us to do as we please. Instead, they knew that our power grows through its prudent use. Our power grows through its prudent use. The Milner Group out of England funded Hitler to destroy Europe, then they brought him down. They funded the Soviets the whole time. They funded, the U.S. government funded Pol Pot to kill three million people. That's all on record. His chief advisor, Zbigniew Brzezinski, writes books about it, bragging how he did it. And, uh, again, just total deception. So they build their infrastructure, blame Bush for it, and then say, oh, that infrastructure isn't there anymore, as they arrest people on airplanes for spilling Bloody Marys and charge them under the Patriot Act, L.A. Times. Our security emanates from the justness of our cause, the force of our example, the temper and quality. Our, our, our security emanates from the justness of our cause globally, fighting El Cieda. Qualities of humility and restraint. We are the keepers of this legacy. Guided by these principles once more, we can meet those new threats that demand even greater effort, even greater cooperation and understanding between nations. We will begin to responsibly leave Iraq to its people. And forge a hard-earned peace in it. Okay, they've built hundreds of bases, 34 giant ones that hold thousands of peace, the biggest in Baghdad, the, ba the embassy that holds uh, 4,000, 5,000 people. Uh, they've openly said it was the original plan they had. I, I told you they'd be there for decades, uh, that within six to seven years of the invasion, they would build the permanent bases, leave 50,000 troops there, and then bring in I-4 United Nations troops. And that's what they've now announced, because I was reading the official Army documents that were public. It just wasn't put out on the news. So, uh, again, total lies. They're just going to move the uh, 50,000 of the troops out of Iraq over into Afghanistan. And then also move some of the troops to encircle Russia. That's just unbelievable, man. And he's talking about Iran, too, going in there. Afghanistan. See, no, With thing. old friends and former foes, we'll work tirelessly to let and an understanding between nations. We will begin to responsibly leave Iraq to its people and forge a hard-earned peace in Afghanistan. With old friends and former foes, we will work tirelessly to lessen the nuclear threat and roll back the specter of a warming planet. We will not apologize. Did you hear that? We're going to fight al-Qaeda, the terrorist, and the other terrorist, the warming planet. Now, remember what, in 19... 92, the Club of Rome put out a document. It was republished last year by Richard N. Haas. He wrote it, head of the Council on Foreign Relations, that he wrote back at Club of Rome, the big globalist think tank that sets a lot of policies, where they said we're going to use fake terror to attack the people and enslave them. They say this. And we're going to use fake environmental crises, climate change, to attack them in that pincer attack. And see, so he just said the exact line. But, oh, we're going to fight al-Qaeda, keep you safe, but we're going to do it real loving and sweet. And under the Bill of Rights, and uh, we're going to fight the warming planet. As if the planet doesn't warm and cool down. I mean, it's just, and we're going to tax the carbon cycle. Apologize for our way of life, 
nor will we waver in its defense. And for those who seek to advance their aims by inducing terror and slaughtering innocents, we say to you now that... So you just said, we'll defend the earth. We're going to fight the earth and save it by taxing you to the central banks, giving all your money to foreign banks that have bankrupted everything. It has nothing to do with the environment, but we'll do it. And then we're also those that are slaughtering innocents. He goes from global warming, saving the earth, too, and those that are killing children. See, the psych just, just same line. Saving the earth is stopping terrorists killing children. Global taxes, environmental taxes, terrorism. He just, he just, he just keeps mixing them together. Our spirit is stronger and cannot be broken. You cannot outlast us, and we will defeat you. Did you hear that? Our spirit is stronger, like the people are with him. Our spirit is stronger. We will outlast you. We will get our global warming taxes. We will go out and slaughter third world nations in the name of stopping terrorists that are hurting children. You will not stop us. We will absorb you. We are coming. I am Baracus of the Borg. Stay with us. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold for your IRA? The financial industry refuses to recognize the value of real hard assets for your retirement. The truth be told, gold and silver has outperformed paper investments like stocks, bonds, and CDs, yet no word about IRAs. Perhaps the financial institutions want to maintain control of your assets by keeping you in paper. If you'd like to take a look at gold for your retirement, Call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low return on your paper investments. Call 800-686-2237. Make sure that you secure your future. Call 800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. So you see Pat Robertson, all the people saying Obama is invincible, he's good, nothing can stop him. Well, my That's a mind game. They want to make you give up and think you can't beat them. These guys are in trouble. They know they're crooks. They know they're trying to set up a world government. They know the people are waking up and they're robbing us. So he's coming out saying, hey, we're not going to let you hurt the economy. We're invincible. And then, he, and then he suddenly gets into terrorism. As if, if you're not for taking over the global carbon tax, you're with terrorists. The specter of a warming planet. We will not apologize for our way of life nor will we waver in its defense. And for those who seek to advance their aims by inducing terror and slaughtering innocents... Did you, did you hear that? He says, we're going to have global warming tax. And then he says, and we won't let you stop our way of life when this will kill our way of life. And then he goes into terrorism. This is hardcore mind control, ladies and gentlemen. We say to you now that our spirit is stronger and cannot be broken. You cannot outlast us, and we will defeat you. <laughs> We will defeat your new world order. We will expose the globalists. We're going to defeat you. We're going to expose your lies and show everybody what a liar you are. For we know that our patchwork heritage is... Did you hear that, mind control? We know our patchwork heritage, making everybody think of every group as me. We know. See, it's you're with me. It's just all programming. See how they're doing that, guys, in there in the control room? I mean, this is, this is psychological warfare. It's a strength, not a weakness. See, we know we have strength. We are a nation of Christians and Muslims, Jews and Hindus, and none. And see, now if you don't agree with him, you're against Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus. See, it's just all, this, this whole thing, it's unbelievable. Never seen such lies and deception and twisting. Believers, we are shaped by every language and culture, drawn from every... We're a, nature, we're a nation of believers. So see, now you're an atheist if you don't agree with Obama. I mean, this is incredible. He's saying the people that are against us are terrorists. They want to hurt the earth. They're against Muslims, Christians, Jews, Hindus. They're holding us back. They caused all these bad things to happen. When these guys openly did it all and brag about it. End of this earth. And because we have tasted the bitter swill of civil war and segregation and emerged from that dark chapter stronger and more united, we cannot help but believe that the old hatreds shall someday pass, that the lines of tribes shall soon dissolve, that as the world grows... But see, when he says the lines of tribes, they actually play groups off against each other. They mean world government stopping anybody having sovereignty. Smaller, our common humanity shall reveal itself, and that America must play its role in ushering in a new era of peace. That means world government. 
To the Muslim world, we seek a new way forward based on mutual interest. Did he say anything about Gaza? Does he say anything about the thousands of people, tens of thousands, targeted under the Patriot Act and non-terror related cases in prison right now? Is he saying anything about the... No, he's doing nothing. More lies. More false promises. More betrayal. Interest and mutual respect. To those leaders around the globe who seek to sow conflict or blame their society's ills on the West, know that your people will judge you on what you can build, not what you destroy. Oh, as you put sanctions on them, and as the U.S., the people that control the U.S., I don't want to be in that paradigm, uh, stage terror attacks in Iran, and uh, do all of that? You mean, you mean that? And, and overthrow their country over and over again? You mean that? 